Kevin in radio room gets an assist request. He then calls up the crew for what will be a long distance night assist. This is Glenn. He's our skipper for the day or the night. Making sure we got water. The old wind are like, a, they just. I received a call for an assist from, I believe, a six meter boat around about 34 nautical miles away at the Hards, which is beyond the Barwon Bank. So this will be a late one. Got Carol on board. She's just going okay. through the checklist. And I'm getting in the way. A beautiful day, quite warm, but uh, by the time night falls, I think it'll get quite chilly. On assembly, the crew are given a briefing to prepare watches and tasks. Carol is made deck supervisor. It's out on the hards. Uh, it's about 30 mile um, off, off Noosa. Um, we'll rotate some helm time. Right. And uh, we need, need to have someone on the radar. It's a six meter penny, effectively. Once we get out there, the condition should be really good. Frank is nominated to be on the helm, Alan on nav. Richard is tasked with video, but with light fading we know that getting decent footage will be problematic later, but is rewarded with some beautiful sunset clips. As we depart the harbour, we get updates on the casualty. We use DV as an abbreviation of the target distressed vessel. The DV has three people on board, their engine has steering failure, but is limping back gingerly in a broadly westerly direction. Their skipper radios in regularly, with position updates. A useful tool in this situation is the onboard radio direction finder RDF. This broadly confirms that the target's radio transmission is on our bow. The DV finally hoves into view. You'll have a sacrificial. Um uh, attached to the tow rope and on that there is a stainless steel uh, clip. Uh, the idea is that you attach that to the normal uh, uh, attachment point at, on the bow of your vessel that you would use on a trailer uh, where you chain it up to your uh, ratchet arrangement. Over. Well, we won't be able to reach that down too low, I believe. Understood. Is that uh, a solid connection point? Over. Uh, yes, it is a solid connection point. Over. Uh, Alan, can you get some tail lights on while you're there, Frankie? Coming up, you guys. We're attached. Okay, strongly. But it's going to, it's going to drop on the bow spot. You got anything sacrificial that you can put underneath it? Oh, that'll be alright. The moon has not yet risen, so it is very dark. The calm conditions help with communications and hitch up the DV without difficulty. We then return home at a comfortable 10 knots. Under a cloudless sky, we are greeted with a beautiful moon rise. Is it heavy? <laughs> uh, whereabouts would you guys like to be dropped off? Huh? We're parked um, in the car park. <laughs> Close your eyes, Frank. 